Hello guys, welcome back to Patrona Mujer. I'll be sharing with you a tutorial on how to make the model you are seeing in the picture. You can find this pattern on the magazine Patrones Infantiles number 15 and we have other great content that is to come, so hit that bell and let's get started. We'll take pen and paper to write down the materials. Once we have the patent dressing from the magazine, we cut along the side line that we'll make. These are finished pattern, which means they have 1 cm seams, hems and cut with notches and green lines. Okay, these are the pieces from the sleeve. These are the pieces from the front. These are the pieces from the back. These are the colors. This is the lining with the pockets and the pieces of the lining and the zippers. We're going to start with the pieces of the back. So we face the right of the, the back pieces and we're going to close on the center back and then we're going to close the side pieces. These are the pieces from the front, but this is one of the front, this is the side piece and we're going to make the mark where is going the zipper. And with the help of the rule we have to mark from the point to the point and then we're going to cut cut the mark and cut a little bit the corners Before you start sewing, you have to use a teflon foot. These are the pieces from the center back. We face the rights and we close on the center back. Then we continue with the side pieces of the back. We face the rights and we close from the shoulder to the bottom. Now open the seams and pull the seams to the side and pass a stitch from the shoulder to the bottom. Pull the seams for the side and pass a stitch on the center back. Pass a stitch on the other piece of the side and pull the seams to the side. Continue with the zipper of the front. We're going to place the zipper first. We're going to fold the centimeter inside and going to pass a stitch around of the hole. You have to pull inside the seams and pass a stitch around of the, the, the cut.
place the zipper and pass a stitch on the stitch and sew them all around of the pocket. We continue with the uh, pockets, we're going to place for one side of the seams of the zipper and then we take the other piece of the pocket and we pin it on the other seam of the zipper. These are the pieces from the front. We're going to sew the deep of the pocket and we're going to place the zipper of the front. These are the pieces from the front. We separate the zippers and we place one on the center front and the other one we're going to place in the middle of the front and side piece. This is the pocket of the zipper. We place one side of the pocket and we sew with the seams of the zipper and now we place the other side of the pocket and we pass a stitch on the other one. Close the dip of the pocket, face the right and sew them all around of the pocket. This is the one of the pieces of the side. This is the these are the front pieces. We face the right and we close from the shoulder to the bottom. Open the seams and pass a stitch from the shoulder to the bottom. You have to pull the seams to the side. Now we place the zipper, face the right of the zipper and the front piece and place on the center front. Start sewing from the top to the bottom. The other side of the zipper we place the zipper from the notch and we sew them along of the zipper. Place the other center piece of the front on top, face the right and pass a stitch from the bottom to the top. Remember you have to use a one single side foot because we have under the zipper so it's easy to it's easy for pass the stitch. Open the seams and sew them from the bottom to the top. You have to pull the seams to the side. We're going to face the right of the front and back and we're going to close the sides and the shoulders. This is the sleeve. We take the pattern and we make a mark where it's going the zipper.
called the marks. Then we're going to place the side of the, of the slip. This is the side of the jacket. We face the right and we close on the sides. And then we face the right of the shoulders. You have to match the cut of the shoulders and sew them. Sew the other shoulder and the other side. Open the seams to the back, you have to pull the seams to the back and pass a stitch from the bottom to the hump hole and then the shoulder. Open the seams of the shoulders and pass a stitch on it. Open the seams of the other side and pull the seams to the back and pass a stitch on it. This is the sleeve. We fold the centimeter inside and we pass a stitch around of the cut. This is the zipper, we fold the, a little bit the zipper and we pass a stitch on it. Place the zipper and pass a stitch on the stitch and sew them. This is the side of the sleeve, we face the right and we sew them along of the sleeve. Open the seams and pull the seams to the side and pass a stitch along of the pieces. Place the right of the slip and close the slip. We're going to sew the slip with the main body. Continue with the colors. We're going to sew the center back of the collars and then we're going to sew the other part of the collar. You have to take the pattern and you have to make a mark because we need to know where is going the stitch around of the collar. We start sewing the slip with the main body. You have to place from the side. Remember to match the notches and the shoulders.
continue with the color, we face the rods and we close on the center back and we uh, pull the seams to the side and pass a stitch. Now we face the rods of the color and we sew them to all around of the color where is going the mark. Cut the excess of the fabric, the corners, and along of the color. Turn the color and pass a stitch around of the color. Hold the color, pass a stitch on the bottom of the color. Place the color on the center back and spray around of the neckline. Continue with the lining, we fold the center back and we're going to pass a stitch on the bottom and the top part of the center back and because we want to get a little bit loose the line, then we're going to sew the sides of the back. These are the pieces from the front, these are the facing pieces and we have to cut a little bit on the bottom of the pieces. With the help of the pattern you can find the notch for, for cut the pieces. And then we're going to sew the lining with the facing pieces. Then we face the right of the front and back and we're going to close on the side on the shoulders. Also we have to make the aperture on the sleeves of the lining. So we make the same mark as we made before and we cut until the mark. Then we're going to place the sides of the sleeve. the color we place from the notch and you have to match the center back and sew them all around of the neckline. This is the facing piece from the front. We face the right of the facing piece with the lining and we sew them along of the pieces.
this is the center back we have but we have to pass a stitch on the bottom and the top part because we need to get a little bit loose the line and then we face the rights of the sides of the back and we sew them Close the sides Close the lining Close the shoulders This is the sleeve, we face the right and we sew the side bits of the sleeve. Then we close the sleeve. Remember to leave a gap without sewing because we need to turn the jacket by this gap. We pass a stitch on the head of the sleeve and then we pull a little bit the thread from the spool because we want to get a little bit uh, gather the top of the slip. This is the other slip. We close the slip. We pass the stitch from the notch to the notch and then we pull the thread from the spool for get the gather. Then we place the sleeve with the lining. Uh, you have to match the notches and the sides. So the sleeve around of the handhold. Remember to match the notches and start from the side. Now we're going to sew the lining with the with the main fabric. So we start at the bottom, we match the sides and the center back, and we pin it along of the pieces. This is the front pieces. So the bottom of the jacket, we start from the center front, you have to match the sides and the center back and sew them all along of the hem. This is the color, we face the rights and we sew them all around of the neckline.
we turn the piece and we sew the center from. This is the sleeve. We go all around of the sleeve. We match the the cuts. Cut the corners. Cut the excess of the fabric along of the neckline. Snip the curves. Turn the jacket. We're going to pass a stitch around of the jacket. We start from the center back and go all around. This is the hem of the jacket. We fold the hem and we pass a stitch along of the hem to go along. This is the other center front and we pass a stitch also on the other center front. Turn the jacket and continue passing a stitch around of the neckline and you finish on the center back. This is a, a sleeve. We fold the sleeve and we pass a stitch on the hem. Now we have to close the, the gap and you have to close the centimeter of the zipper of the slip on the lining. You can do by hand.
close the gap on the slip and we have finished our jacket we place the buttons on the center front and this is the back If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more tutorials. And remember, the account is Patronus Mujer and as always, thank you guys for watching the video.